Hello everyone, welcome back to another Raiders video. In this video, I'll be giving my reasons for why the Raiders will not sign Tom Brady. Let's get into it right now. So I've been annoyed by all this talk about Tom Brady to the Raiders. Well, I'm gonna give you three reasons why the Raiders will not sign him in this upcoming free agency. Number one, it's because right now there is a lot of speculation. When there's a head coaching vacancy in any sports, or in this case, a quarterback vacancy probably going to be there as Carr is going to be gone and Sato might not, probably will not be the guy. So there's now a lot of talk, right, about who the Raiders are going to have. Brady, Garoppolo, Anthony Richardson, Will Levis, CJ Stroud, Jared Stidham, re-signed, whatever. Tom Brady, of course, being a big name, has been thrown in there. Now, here's why he will not be signed. It's just pretty much your talk. Now, the Lakers, I remember when they were trying to hire a head coach. The national media was saying they're going to hire Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson, Mark Jackson. He's a big name guy with not, not really much head coaching experience, but he was talked about a lot, right? For months, maybe, I'm not sure how many months, but maybe like one month, but he was nonstop talked about. Who do the Lakers do? They go hire Darvin Ham. Mark, Mark Jackson was never considered. Though even our own team, the Raiders, when we had head coaching vacancy, you remember when every fan and, and, and every Raider fan was saying Jim Harbaugh will probably be hired? Whether he liked it or not, you, I, mean, I didn't I didn't want us to hire Jim Harbaugh, but everyone was saying the Raiders are going to hire Jim Harbaugh. Even I had to kind of face the reality of if it happened or not, which I would not have, I would not have been happy. But that was just national media talking. Mark Davis was never going to hire Jim Harbaugh, and did not hire Jim Harbaugh. Hired Josh McDaniels. We did not know he was. Gonna, he was. We did not. He was. We did not know he was interested in, in Josh McDaniels until like about three days before we actually hired him. Three days, the weeks before that, we were all talking about Jim Harbaugh. The Raiders in 2020 with Tom Brady. Let me let me tell you this. January 2020, everyone says the Raiders are turning are going are about to get Tom Brady. February, the Raiders are about to get Tom Brady. March, the Raiders are not getting Tom Brady. Tom Brady is going to the Buccaneers, the Patriots, or, or or the other team that he was rumored to go to. By the time March 2020 came around, everyone knew Tom Brady was not actually going to be on the Raiders. The same thing will happen here. Right now, the season has not even ended yet. Well, as, as long as I'm, I'm recording this right before the Week 18 game against the Chiefs. January, it's right now January. Everyone is saying Tom Brady to the Raiders. Next month, maybe people will be saying it. By March, it'll be evident that it's not going to happen. It is just speculation and it's not really, there's not much evidence behind it because it's just fans saying it. We don't know what Mark David wants to do, what McDaniels wants to do, what um, what Ziegler wants to do. Maybe we will hire Tom Brady in this video will be incorrect, in which case I'm not gonna delete it. However, we don't know what those guys want to do. Or we do not control what the team does. We don't know what they're even, even interested in. Reason number two, do you remember the interview with Tom Brady said the famous thing of, well, uh, they, they're sticking with that MFR? A lot of people talk about that, and but what people don't talk about is that the same interview said that he would not sign with that team. So now I feel like people have pieced together that the team is the Raiders because he already, apparently he said it was like not the Dolphins or something else, something else happened that eliminated the 49ers. Basically, the only team left that it could be was the Raiders somehow. I don't know how that happened. Ba okay, so basically people are saying it's the Raiders. So... That would mean that he would not want to come to us because he said, I'm not going to sign with that team. So why would he, in 2023 free agency, change his mind after in 2020 free agency, he said he would never sign with us? Why would he have changed his mind three, three, three years later? He probably won't. He does not want to play for this team because, uh, I guess, he, he, just, he doesn't like the Raiders. I mean, we don't like him either, which is well documented. So why would he change his mind? I don't understand how... how if, if people have pieced together that, that the team was the Raiders, they can easily piece together that he does not want to come here. But even before the interview, we all know Tom Brady does not really like us. We don't like him. So, uh, if the team was us, if the team was us, why would he? Why, they're actually pretty much eliminate the chance of him signing with us. Reason number three: Why would Tom Brady want after twenty years with the New England Patriots, a lot of years, right? Then three to, with three years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, want to then sign with a completely new team? If you're the go, I feel like you can't really just team hop. So that's why, you know, 20 years to the New England Patriots. All right, it makes sense that he can make a, he, he changed his team to the Buccaneers. He was, with the, he was with that first team for 20 years. Then the second team with three years. Okay, definitely not as much. I mean, you can't play for 20 years again, but, you know. Um, you think he would make another team change after only after three years with the Raiders? His third team. He, he played 20 years with one team. Now you're saying he'll play, um, two in, you know, for two teams in four years. I don't exactly know about that. Or actually, it would be three years. I think he was going. To, he's going to either retire, unlikely, go back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or resign, or you know, go back to New England. Which, even though he'll be changing his team, it's not a new team. It's it's just a second team with the same team he already bid with the New England Patriots. It's not a new team. He has played for the Patriots before. If he goes back to the Patriots, it's not really a whole new thing. He doesn't have to get comfortable with like the whole city stadium coaching. Not really. So, would he then want to 
have a whole new team in the Raiders right before retiring. I doubt that because I think we all know, and he has mentioned it, that he was he would be open to going back to the New England Patriots before ending his career. Do you think he'll go back to he go to a new team in the Raiders and then go back to the Patriots? I don't think so. Does he have enough time left in his career? Probably because I don't think his next year is his last year. He's planning on probably playing like two more years, maybe. Um, it does not, that certain, certainly does not sound like he's done. So if he wants to go back to the New England Patriots before season, if before his career ends, he's got to do it now because I mean, if he if he has to choose between playing with his you know long time team in the Patriots or signing with a whole new team in the Raiders, what do you think he's gonna do? The New England Patriots. Those are three reasons why I think the Raiders are not signing Tom Brady. The Raiders will trade Carr as much as I do not like. Don't I mean I at this point I, I do admit it. I don't want to admit it. I've defended him for a lot of years, but clearly he is done here. Jared Stidham has a case to be that I mean depending on what happens tomorrow as the Raiders will play the Chiefs, but Stidham does not have much of a good good chance. Maybe like a slight chance he has, but not a good chance. Maybe it's a drafted guy. Maybe it's another, maybe it's another bridge guy. Maybe Garoppolo who I. I don't I don't want to sign him, but I don't have enough reasons to make a whole video about it. I mean, like, um, I, it would not be a bad idea with Brady. It's not like it's, I'm not saying it would be a bad idea if by us. I'm just saying it's not going to happen on his front. He doesn't want to come here. We don't know what our front office wants to do. Anyway, that was my video. Me saying why the Raiders are not signed Tom Brady. I'm Martha. Thank you for watching.